then no one's really like needs all this stuff. And you definitely can without it a lot of the time. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most spiritual show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my malfunctioning co-host, Graydon. Something's wrong! All right, today we're guessing essentials. This is Guess, Guess the, the rapper, rapper from the GQ things they can't live without. All right, here's how this one's gonna work. You guys know those videos, GQ things blank can't live without. Grant has watched a bunch of those, rounded up some of the objects. We're gonna get the object and guess who the rapper is. Bingo, bango, bongo. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Ellie in Akron, Ohio. All right, before we get into it, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Go to HiveMindTV.com, check out our merch. Also, join our Patreon. It's $5 a month, best way to support us, and you get extra content, a bunch of other cool things. All of that is in the description, along with some other little fun secrets. All right, here's our first one. We have got uh, some sea moss supplements of uh -huh. some sort. They're little cap capsules. What is this little contraption? Is that a little AC? Oh, I think it's like an air purifier or something. Ah. Okay. And then we got some New Balance shoes. Fire kicks. Yeah, absolutely. And then we've got Trojan ultra thin condoms. <laughs> Gotta be thin. Hate the ultra thick ones. Yeah. It's like a winter coat for your sea. <laughs> oh God, I used to love the Vikings back in the day. The Vikings? Yes, yeah, so you could see moss. Thank you, Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Greatest wide receiver of all time, right. despite Jerry Rice holding all the records. What does GQ stand for? Good question. Take your head off. Oh, yeah. Wow, we're off to a good start on the jokes. I would, I would say. say so, yeah. <laughs> so 10 gonna, out of 10 on jokes. We're gonna need likes yeah. on the video for mm -hmm. those two. Three, two, one, Jack Harlow. NLE Choppa. <laughs> This is Jack Harlow. Dang it, he does be rocking New Balances. <laughs> He's got the New Balance deal. And he loves rubbers? Oh yeah, he loves fucking. Oh. <laughs> Jack Harlow about to risk it all for Saweetie. <laughs> all right, we've got a Holy Bible. Uh, pretty good book, if you haven't heard of it, you should check it out. Amazon, I'm sure, has it. A external hard drive, those ones that are supposed to be like indestructible when you drop them, mm -hmm. they're not. Yes. I've seen them break. Low-key thought that shit was an etching sketch. Etchin sketch? Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was one of the etchin sketches. We got a bust down Roly. Bang! I think. <laughs> I don't know much about watches, but it looks like it's a bust down Rolex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a timepiece. I can go, I can assure you of that. And then what is this, key fob? Seven sets of keys here. Oh, so seven cars. Ooh. Seven cars, seven sacraments. Seven deadly sins, seventh heaven, seven sacraments, seven cars. Seven minutes of sin in the heaven, in the closet with you and me. You and me go in the closet now? Seven terabytes, seven numbers around the clock on the watch. A lot of coincidences here, a lot of angel numbers stuff. Seven figures what my watch cost? Oh, this could be the Pope. <laughs> Three, two, one. YK Osiris. Lil Yachty. This is Gunna. Oh. oh. I heard he has pneumonia. Gunna loves the Bible. I didn't know that actually. You gotta sell your soul to someone to be that good at rapping. <laughs> no one ever talks about that. But what? Like, you can sell your soul to the devil for talent, but why can't you sell it to God? Does God himself have a soul? This is getting too existential. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, we don't need to do any of that. Sprickety, sprackety, sprookity, brookity. <laughs> then you take it back and you do it like a doopity. Shazam. What was that? Bop. <laughs> What's going on now? <laughs> those, those are all my bits for the day. Those are your <laughs> those are your bits for the day? Squiggity, graggity, swappity, doppity. Take it to the top and you don't want to stop it. Shloop. <laughs> You know what I mean? Those are all my bits. All right, next one. We've got, what is this, a food processor? Oh, it's the bullet blender. Oh, it's a blender. Uh, we got a PlayStation, is that a four? Well, we've got Uno. Great game. And then a sketchbook. So we got a gamer, a drawer, smoothie maker. Someone definitely not colorblind either. You can't be colorblind and play Uno. That's kind of, they don't tell you that. Three, two, one. Denzel Curry? Money bag, yo. It is Denzel Curry. Oh my god, what made you guess Denzel Curry? He be drawing. Really? Yeah, he loves drawing. He went to school, he went to art school. I gotta pick up some ground here. Yeah. This is bad. Yeah, I don't yeah. like the start I'm off to. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna call a quick timeout so I can talk with my team. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna drop a few plays too. <laughs> That one's gonna work. Let's go. All right, break. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, this one we got a case of just water. Just water. A Red Baron classic crust oven pizza. Pretty good, honestly. I was a big Red Baron fan growing up. I loved Baron Davis growing up. Oh, yeah. Big Baby? 
<laughs> nope. Yep. <laughs> nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Big nope. baby Baron Davis. <coughs> nope. The Louisiana Miracle. That's what they called him. Yeah. Red Baron Big Baby Davis. <laughs> <laughs> then we got these E pills. Uh, love E pills. Oh my god. Oh, I yeah. used to have crazy nights on those things. I'll tell you what. Mm. Bring a bottle of those to the club. You're everybody's favorite. <laughs> you guys want some E? And then uh, we got Thin Mints. That's what those are. Yeah. I hate Thin Mints. You don't like Thin Mints? Ooh. Worst cookie. Really? Yeah. I like them. Really? I hated them as a kid, but then I grew to like them. I was more of a trefoil stan. Ah, I like trefoils, and, and I like uh, tagalongs. And Samoas. Samoas are too sugary for me. Those are like an overwhelming mouth blast. That's like flavor blasted Girl Scout cookies, low key. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't be me. <laughs> I eat one of those, I'm good for the year. One Samoa, please. Don't give me the box, you little idiot. Give me give one of them. Here's 50 Take cents. Take one out of it, here's 50 cents. You don't sell them individually. Come on. I bought a loose cigarette at the gas station. You can't sell me one cookie. It's Speaking of that, you want a cigarette? Ask your mom for a break, it's fine. By the way, ask her if she's got a lighter too. Mine just went out. <laughs> so we got a pizza eater, we got an e-pill taker, we got a water drinker, and we got a cookie monster. I'm scared of you, dude. You're very intimidating on the field of competition. No, I'm not. You're such a jock. I'm not intimidating, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil Yachty. I went with Choppa again. <laughs> He's Lil Yachty. Dude, you're on fire. He's gotta know that he eats pizza. <laughs> Everyone eats pizza besides you. Nah, it's really just Yachty. We have got pineapple, the raw, are those like the cones? They're like the rolling cones? Big cones. Or you wanted to smoke a big joint. Yeah, almost like you could smoke a half gram in that. Yeah, you want to smoke an oblong joint. Then you got Creed Cologne. I didn't even know the band had a cologne. <laughs> Man, it smells like musty, like a musty old church. With arms wide open, I still smell great. <laughs> I love Scott Stapp. That's the lead singer's name? Yeah. Didn't he go absolutely batshit crazy? Uh-huh. When he made that song, absolutely, yeah, he did go batshit crazy when he made it with arms wide open. Yeah, he got, he went dumb on that one. He snapped. <laughs> got snapped on that one. Woo! You know I mean? And then we got Burt's Bees, which is always a tough conversation to have with your parents, you know? Pineapple. Makes your cum taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to finish. Grab the pineapple. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cheers, Khalifa. I, I went with Lil Squeezy Vert. This is Roddy Rich. Oh, man. I thought it was Wiz Khalifa because he loves papers. Up next, here we go. What is this, a green circle? A green rubber band. A green rubber band. We got some Nasacort. Nasacort. That sounds like an evil corporation that like is <laughs> stealing babies' noses or something. <laughs> Here at Nasacort, we've collected all sorts of nostrils and nose accessories from across the globe. Ever since Nasacort moved to town, all the small businesses can't keep up. They're all closing down. My dad won't stop drinking. <laughs> oh, we got one of those. Oculus. Uh, we got a headset, a VR headset. Uh -huh. And then we got. Smoke alarm? The smoke detector? It's a white noise machine. That is a white noise machine. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Odd objects here. I know this one. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Young Thug. Lil Dicky. It's Lil Dicky. On his show, he's always using the VR, so he can he does VR sex stuff. And then he always has a stuffed up nose. It's all like clear as day in hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. Oh wait, I guess hindsight's 2021 now. I gotta yeah. get used to writing that on my papers. So. Yeah. Well no, hindsight is 2020. Last year hindsight was 2019. <laughs> I thought hindsight was that movie with Sandra Bullock. Oh, I love her. You know, it's a true story. Yeah, Sandra Bullock played in the NFL for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know that. She had a cannon of an arm. And as a running back, too. I mean, she was a big fan of the flea flicker. I mean, a lot of people don't, people don't notice this, too, but like running back, I mean, average two to three years in the league. You really get beat up. And Sandra Bullock was in there for 12 years. She goddamn near Frank Gore level. I mean, 12 years in the MLB is nothing. Sandy Koufax isn't considered one of the greats because he only did 12 years for the Dodgers. But when you're in the NFL, I mean, you're getting beaten, broken. You're like a rag doll out there, just getting absolutely torn up. And Sandra Bullock really stood her ground. And was a downhill runner. I know. Like, did, wasn't a speedster, didn't hit the outside, never ran out of bounds, always finished the run, always fell forward. Just always, hits, yeah. Yeah, led with her helmet. Like a Ladanian Tomlinson type character. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> like a Ladanian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson hybrid. You know, yeah. hybrid. Hey, you remember what Bill Belichick said about her? No. That bitch could run. <laughs> We've got, what is this, lip gloss? Yep. Thought it was a Scante pipe. <laughs> we got a, what is this, a pug? It's a French bulldog, you 
freak. Sorry. Are you kidding me? Look at the cropped ears. All right, we got a French bulldog. Uh huh. Oh, wee wee. Bark, bark. And we got some. We got some Beats by Dre. And then we got some Kettle brand potato chips, jalapeno flavor. Those are really good. Yeah, I like those. They're ones. no Miss Vicky's, but they're good. They kind of give me a headache. I feel like they have a lot of nutritional yeast in them. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeast gives you a headache? Yeah. Well, Everyone. I'm allergic, I'm allergic to yeast. Oh. So specifically Kettle brand. I don't know what it does, but I'm always like sitting there with a headache. It's like that and Chick Fil A really get to me. Chick Fil A really gets to me too with their homophobia. That gives me a headache. Yeah. Dicks. Wait, dicks too? Dicks is homophobic <laughs> <No>. too. <laughs> Which is kind of ironic when you think about it. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I love that store. Yeah. Where am I going to get my lacrosse sticks? <laughs> what are those called? <laughs> Guess I got to go to Sports Depot. I'm doing it. All right, just real quick. Yeah. <gasps> it's a girl. Well, duh. It's lip gloss. <laughs> There's lip gloss is the first I one. I watch Recreated right down there. Run down NLB chocolate again because he's got a dog. Oh man. Oh man. Am I dumb? Uh, you guys would tell me if I'm dumb, right? I was trying to. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Though. Three, yep. two, one. Rico Nasty. Cardi B. It's Megan the Stallion. Oh. <sighs> she do me having glossy lips. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I wish my parents would have hit me more. Yeah, me too. We got a little brush. Beard brush. We got a beard brush. We got Vaseline lip therapy. Oh. So like a, a stronger chapstick? No, I think it's like a gooey psychologist. <laughs> Sometimes I wish my therapist would stop giving me so much lip. <laughs> oh! Uh, and then we got, <laughs> what is this? Sutton Place Bond number nine? Is this also cologne? Uh, it's a very specific cologne. And then we got some gum. Clean it up with Orbit. Dirty mouth? You remember those commercials? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fire. Yeah, that was crazy. They'd always be like right on the edge of saying the F-bomb or something. Yeah. And that British lady with sparkly white teeth would show up with a pack of gum to clean up the whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> this person's all about hygiene. It's literally all about smelling and looking and all that sort of thing. Probably a Leo, honestly. Yeah, when you put it like that. I feel like it, people do these kind of answers when they're like trying to, f like, this isn't a flex, but like if you go on GQ Essentials, you're like, I never don't shower. I always <laughs> be smelling good. Yeah. And I, I keep a brush on me too, because I care about how I look. Like, I, you want to catch me sloppy. <laughs> then no one's really like needs all this stuff. And you definitely catch them without it a lot of the times. I think we're just poor, man. That's true. Yeah. I think we're just poor. I have a totally surrendered self care. Oh, yeah. Like, throughout the past five years, I'm just like, ah, self-care, that's like sixth on my list of things to get to. So what, I get an infection. Think I care? <laughs> Three, two, one. Nav? Lil Dirk? This is 2 chains. 2 chains got a beard? Does Lil Dirk have a beard? No, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he did at one point. <sighs> I couldn't think of anybody with a beard, so I just guessed somebody. All right, we got Flamin' Hots. We got some floss, Johnson & Johnson. Not exactly the most popular name out there on the market right now. <laughs> Sorry, Johnson brothers. And then we got some white tees and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which seems to be some sort of video game. You know you can use floss for other stuff too? <laughs> Was that a wink? You know you can use floss for a bunch of other stuff too? I did not. I don't use it for anything, so. You don't floss? Mm -mm. That's why your breasts smell like cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's because I eat cat shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Duh. I have IBS. People need to stop with like the criticizing of my diet. So what? I eat cat shit. <laughs> so what? <laughs> that's what I have to do. You eat burgers and all <laughs> McDonald's and the fries and stuff. You eat pizza. And you eat all your favorite foods, meatloaf, uh -huh. like that sort of stuff. And I have to eat cat shit. <laughs> I never knew that about I can't eat anything else. I have IBS. It stands for irritable bowel syndrome, but also for I be shitting. And you eat catch it. Yeah, and I have to. Because the doctor said so? No, my friend who's an herbalist, he he put me onto it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tastes so bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I have to do it, uh -huh. and I feel great. <laughs> uh -huh. You yeah. look great. Whatever you're doing's working. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a little weird. It's turning you into a cat? <laughs> you are what you eat, <laughs> you know? You're eating so much cat shit, you might be turning into a cat. That's what people say to me out at the restaurants. <laughs> yeah, the cat shit restaurants. <laughs> you go to Petco. What's on the special today? Uh, I'll have the lemon pepper cat shit today. Yeah, I eat at Petco. <laughs> It's all right, dude. You have IBS. You know? I know, and that's what I tell them at Petco. I go, I have IBS. I have to eat some of the cat shit. <laughs> Do you have barbecue cat shit? You don't drink the piss, do you? 
I gotta wash it down. I'm not just what? <laughs> Catch it no bev? No thanks. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lil Xan. Lil Durkio. It's Lil Durk. Oh my god, the double guess. Yes! <laughs> you finally got one. I figured, you know, if I'm so wrong, I might as well just stick to my gun. Wow, four to one. I really thought it was gonna be Lil Xan because he went to the hospital because he ate so much flaming hot. It's just like I went to the hospital <laughs> for eating so much. <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay. Uh, we've got a Yankee fitted. We've got a inhaler, asthma inhaler. I got one of those. Mm -hmm. What is this? Grooming cream? Mm -hmm. And then we've got some Barney's. What is this? Oh, it's like essential oils. It's like serum? Another self-care. I feel like everybody's kind of focused on self-care and these GQ things. That's what I mean. They're like flexing. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I really do care about myself. Fuck off. You got like a pack of smokes and like a $3 <laughs> bill and... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is like MTV Cribs when they would go rent a bunch of cars and yes. like stuff to have there. It's yes. just like that. They picked up this stuff first time they ever seen it in their life. Yeah. They're like, I guess it's like serum for like one of those thingies, you know what I mean? If I were to ever go on one of these, I would just have uh, 12 pictures of my friends. Oh, I think I know it. Three, two, one. Joey Badass? Big Sean. <laughs> this is Vince Staples. Wow. Oh, he do be inhaling. But he also lives in LA, but he's got the, the Yankee fitted. Cat shit sandwiches. Cat shit sandwiches, this was a fun game. Yeah, this uh, was actually kind of fun. If you want us to do this game again, just simply let us know in the comments. Hit up DJ Grant, his Instagram is in the description. You can just send him whatever you want in the DMs, he always answers. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, secret comments down there as well. And Graydon, would you like to leave our friends, fans, gamers, losers, winners, and everybody else in between with some advice to leave or live their lives by. Um, yeah, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. If you have a significant other that you love and you can't afford um, to buy them the nice jewelry you want, you can always take an old trusty spade to the graveyard and dig up some free gems and jewels. They're all in the, the people, the dead people in the boxes. They got tons of jewelry on and they don't need it, obviously. Uh, I actually did that once and I accidentally unearthed a ghost. Made a grave mistake there. <sighs> All right, this has been I'm TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, whatever you do, do not drop that dunk to them. You ever played Call of Duty? <clears throat> you ever played Call of no. Duty? <clears throat> <laughs> Have you ever played Call of <clears throat> Duty? <laughs> Wait, what's going on? You're <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, it takes you a while to rev up to ask that question. Yeah. <laughs> you ever play Call of Duty? No. No? I don't play video games, and I don't play no real, I don't play no games in real life either. <laughs> ask about me. You'll hear. <laughs>